Uh, I, uh, I'm very much looking forward to today, uh, not only over the excitement of this kind of being our inaugural event for the center, but also the topic is something that, that is truly near and dear to my heart and, and extremely useful to me. For the last nine years now, uh, one, of, one of my jobs has been to direct our MBA program. And the thing I will say about MBA students is, uh, uh, is, is they can be a challenge. Um, I, I love them to death, but oftentimes the best of them treat the program as they probably should, if you think about it, as really, really expensive real estate. I mean, I have had students come to my office and make it clear to me how each day, how much money each day in the program was costing them. <laughs> and it wasn't only tuition, it was also opportunity cost. I left a $60,000 job, by the way, Professor Conlon has X dollars per day, right, right, to come here, right, and on top of that, I'm paying you X dollars a day, you know, absent any financial aid you've given me, right, so every day I have here, I'm thinking it's X hundred dollars, it's, it's, it's costing me t t to be here, and um, that's expensive real estate for me, plus it's a one-time only deal. I only get to get an MBA once, right, so it's, a, it, I chose, coming to Notre Dame, I chose the program, I love it. I love Notre Dame, right? But there's, a, there's this course that I wonder why you're making me take it because I don't see what it's going to do for me. I don't see how it's going to help me. That's, a, that's what we call a tough customer, right? A tough customer. So oftentimes I get tough customers and, and sometimes it will be the ethics course that we're talking about. Ethics is certainly not the only course that they talk about that way, but sometimes it will be the ethics course. And, and what students will often say is, look, I'm learning a lot about, about uh, theory in ethics. I'm learning a lot about deontology, and I'm learning a lot about you know, pragmatics and, and, and so forth. I'm learning a lot of theory, but uh, you know, I've been in situations. I, you know, I spent five years in business before I came back from MBA, and I've been in situations, and I'm having a hard time seeing how that's really going to help me in anything I'm likely to face over the next 40 years of my career. You know, I, I, I think that there's a gap. There's this, this, this last mile problem where be, between what you're teaching me and what I need to know for it to be really useful. So I get that a lot. Right? In, you know, I teach, the course I'm teaching tomorrow in Chicago is a, a course in innovation and change, and I teach it from a design thinking perspective. And, and in design thinking, you think about users. I'm the users of, of a process or the users of a product. I'm a user, in, in some sense, of the ethics product that we deliver, in the sense that I, I interconnect with it, in, in the sense that, that students come to me and they talk, to, talk about it. It's a program that, that I'm nominally in charge of, and I want to make sure that we kind of do a good job on that. So um, I, I want to think about, well, I think about questions like, well, what should ethics do? You know, what, what should be our goal for, for, for our ethics curriculum? What should it do? How should it transform people? What kind of skills should they have going forward, going out of here, right? And how do we best do that? And it's a challenging problem, and, and it's, it's it precisely the problem that we're going to talk about today. Now, just to increase the level of depression a little bit more about this, um, I mentioned Alastair McIntyre last night. Now, Alastair McIntyre, <laughs> Is, uh, one of, is a world-class virtue ethicist. He's on, a, on, the, on the philosophy faculty here. And, you know, he, and by virtues, we're talking about prudence, temperance, justice, you know, the cardinal virtues and so forth. And, and, and he's an expert on that. And I saw him giving a talk to all of the students in the graduate school, 600 students, and most of these are PhD students. And he chose to talk on the topic of truth, fortitude, uh, not fortitude, uh, uh, Prudence, justice, temperance, fortitude. So, he's talking about truth. Um, and in, in, uh, as a virtue. And he obviously pointed out that, that in, the, in, in the profession that these people were preparing them for, themselves for, mainly to be science, scientists or, or, or thought leaders, truthfulness was very important, getting the truth right. And then he talked about the challenges to truth in academia, how you know, the, the pressure to get published may cause you to skew, not, you know, maybe not cheat on your data, but to skew what you say about it in a certain way, where maybe it wasn't exactly what you really believed about it, right? but that you knew this would get you published. So he was talking about those sorts of challenges. 
And then he made the statement that really made me depressed. He said, there is no evidence that anything I do to teach people about ethics makes them more ethical. And I said, holy smokes, we're in trouble, right? So do I believe that we're done, that we can't do anything to help people be more ethical? I actually don't believe that at all, right? But I do believe that, that it, it will take some innovation, some creativity, uh, some design thinking, if you will, think, thinking sort of broadly about, about things to really kind of say, and differently probably in, in a variety of ways, um, to, to really kind of begin to find better ways and more effective ways to accomplish that goal of, 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 of creating, creating environments and maybe even influencing people in, in a way, in a profound way, that they will in fact do the right thing however the right thing is sort of defined. So we've gathered a number of people to get to, uh, together today who I think have extremely interesting ideas related to this particular topic. And we're, we're asking uh, them to present their ideas and we want to do this in a, in a relatively discussive kind of way. So, so uh, feel free to ask questions. Um, if a thought comes to mind that you wish to share, at some point, and I'll allow, I'll allow each presenter group to decide how they want to handle this, whether they want to hold them to, to, to the end or whatever. But um, please uh, be, be interactive uh, on this. And then later today, uh, uh, Pat Murphy is going to lead a general discussion of all of us to try to, try to what did we get out of this? What did we learn? What, what were the main themes that we, that we sort of take away? And to solidify for that, and Adam and I hope to write up a little bit about this and probably with, with Ed's help a little bit too, and, and we'll send it out to try to sort of capture what we've got. And, and maybe there'll be a public, publication outlet for this as well, and we may, may go to that step. But that's, that's kind of where we are on, on this.